Welcome to another Flight Sim and Other Stuff video. A sensible one this time, after all the silliness of doing the Mac loop, mucking around in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today I'm back to X-Plane and flying heavies. So I'm not that impressed by the heavies in Microsoft at the moment. I know it's going to get there, so I just can't wait for it to uh, get better. The fly-by-wire doing great guns, so uh, I will be doing more heavy flying in Microsoft coming up, especially with my virtual airline that I'm a pilot for. So uh, it's X-Plane tonight, and as usual, I use VR. I do all my flights in VR. I just Once you've been down that route, it doesn't matter whether it, the graphics aren't as good and it's not 4K, the immersion just makes up for everything. So it's VR for me, my choice. And air traffic control. I want to interact with air traffic control. Uh, I have flown with Iveo and Vatsim a couple of times. Uh, I'm not knocking it. It's, it's a great experience, but you have to fly where there is a controller. And invariably, I don't want to fly where there's a controller. I want to fly one of the company routes that isn't controlled. So Pilot to ATC is my go-to air traffic control, which is a great application because the same application works both with Microsoft and X-Plane. It's just, it's just awesome. If you've got it, well, if you've got it, that's why you're watching this video. If you haven't got it, watch the video and go and buy it because it is just the best add-on I've ever had. So there's a couple of problems though when you're in VR. It's great if you've got a flat screen or you've got multiple monitors and you're running pilot to ATC on a window over there and you can see everything that's going on and you've got a cheat sheet there. The problem I have in VR is I can't see pilot to ATC. Yeah, I know with Oculus and virtual desktop on the other headsets, I could bring it in, but it, it just is distracting and it's too big. There's too much information. So I need a way around it and I need a way around it because I need to take notes. Um, ATC are going to give me some stuff that I've got to read back and then I've got to type in the q and I've got to do the uh, uh, I've got to do the headings and everything else and I can't remember all those numbers so I need a way of writing notes inside VR now I've been doing some research and there's in DCS world I think someone's got uh, a plugin that allows you to write on your iPad and show it in the window haven't tried it yet. I don't think it works in X-Plane, but no. If I find something, I'll do it. For now, I've got a better solution. I think I've got a better solution. So let's just jump in to the cockpit and show you what I'm on about. You're going to need a plugin for this, and the plugin's available on the org store. It's called VR Tools, and I'll put a link to it in the show notes below um, let's show you how we got to set things up it's, it's really easy first thing you need is a file so you're going to create a file and this is going to go in your explain directory in resources and plugins in here is the VR Tools plugin that you've downloaded from the org store. Just download it, drag and drop it, put it in here. It's all open source, brilliant tool, does loads of things, use it all the time in VR. AviTab and VR Tools are the two applications of VR flyers you cannot do without. Inside VR Tools, there is a folder called text files and inside text files I'm going to create a new text document and I'm just going to call it oh let's call it P2ATC you can call it whatever you want but this is where I'm going to stream the text that I need to read out and all the notes that I need are going to be in that text file so we can close that and the next thing we need to do is pilot to ATC 
go to the config button here. Pop-up window comes up. And I need to bring that up into here. Sorry. Need to bring it up. There we go. And you're going to go to speech. Now, I used to fly it with the co-pilot responds to the radio. And the co-pilot's going to change the frequencies. Which is great. When you first start off using pilot to ATC, have those two ticks. All you have to do is the initial call up and then all the responses are handled by the co-pilot and he'll even tune the radio when you have to change frequencies so it's great it does it all for you and you can just concentrate on flying and then after a couple of weeks of that you'd think oh i can do that myself the trouble is you can never remember what to say to the air traffic control well you might be able to i can never remember what I have to say to air traffic control but all this is going to be cured with what we're going to do now so I'm not going to have the co-pilot read back and I'm not going to have the co-pilot change frequencies what I am going to do is I'm going to enable the conversation text file path and we just open up the browser and we're going to browse to that x-plane directory explain yep we're in we're in explain go to resources go to plugins and you want the tools and text files now there is a text file in there you can't see because it's in my case it's looking for my old file um, and right click create a new text document and call it well pilot p2 atc that will do for me right and there's the text file i created it's empty at the moment so we just click this and save do i want to replace it yes and don't forget to enable the output now everything that appears in this conversation window will be streamed to that text file and your life is going to be really easy. So we close the config. Close that. Um, get rid of pilot to ATC off the screen. And we're back in the cockpit. We're going to stick on the headset and show you how it works. I have a button mapped on my yoke to go into VR. Again, just a little trick. I, I really like this. It's, it's faster getting into VR. And you can come in and drop out of VR whenever you want. And I don't have to go via the hangar, so it's straight into the cockpit. So press the button. And we're in VR now. So you've got the small screen on this recording, uh, because I'm not going to use Oculus Mirror. It's only a, a quick demo this, so I don't need to give you a full screen printout. So let's put the headset on. I'll make sure I've got my VR controller to hand. And we're ready to go. So, call up the menu. Advanced menu, plugins, VR tools. First option, text files. Toggle the window. Now I have to find that file. That file is going to be displayed in here. And this navigation scheme isn't the, well, I didn't find it, um, the most intuitive. So let me show you how you're going to do it. You're going to click the open. Move that away from my head. I'm going to go into X plane and select. We're then going to scroll down to resources and select. We're then going to scroll down to plugins and we're going to select. And then we're going to scroll down to, you guessed it, the R tools. Select and we're going to go into text files. Select 
There on the right hand side are the text files that are in that directory. There's the pilot to ATC one that's going to contain the streamed text from pilot to ATC. Click OK. Put this in the right place. Nothing in there at the moment. I don't want to have to keep pressing this refresh button every time someone says that the new text appears in the window. So I can just click stream. Now watch what happens when I call up clearance delivery. Skyways 156, ready to copy. Skyways 156 is clear to Echo Golf Jewelry. There you go! Climb via the Bog 1X departure with the Boca transition, then as files. Expect departure runway 26 left. Climb to flight level 110 via the departure. Expect higher clearances 7 minutes after departure. Squawk 3442. And a suggestion of my response. Because remember, I've switched off the co pilot doing the responses. So I don't have to worry about remembering it. I just have to read this back. And you do this often enough and you won't even have to look at this anymore because it goes in. So let's see if it works. Skyways 156 is clear to Echo Golf Juliet Juliet. Climb via the Bogner 1X departure with the Bogner transition. Then as filed. Climb to flight level 110 via the departure Expect high clearances seven minutes after departure. Squawk 3442. Okay, yeah. Uh... Skyways 156 read back correct. QNH is 1026 contact ground on 121.8 when ready for pushback. Have a good afternoon. QNH is 12. No, it wasn't. I screwed it up. Aircraft calling clearance delivery. Say again with your call sign. <laughs> QNH is 1026. Ground on 121.8. Skyways 156. And now I need to tune the radio to 121.86. Or I could have just left the co pilot to auto tune the radios for me. That's it. Uh, let's get off of this headset. Out of VR. That's the way I do pilot to ATC in VR, having notes taken. Give it a try. Hope this is useful, and I'll try and do another one of these if anyone likes it. Take care. See you soon. Bye.